Hello friends, here today showing off my 450 again, and the other night I heard a guy giving some very bad information uh, saying that the base, best place to mount your battery is right here, and that is uh, one of the worst places you could mount your battery, because when you have a crash, that battery is going to get jammed right into your motor. And it's gonna snap it off and bend it, destroy it. Very, very, very bad idea. Don't listen to people that give you stupid advice. You guys understand what I mean? Unless you wanna be buying a new motor when you just have a a, a, a nose in crash. If you can't get your um, Helicopter to balance. I recommend getting the right battery that will allow it to balance. See, I can use this battery and see how far I have it slid forward. It's not back. And then when I use my uh, 2800 milliamp batteries, I think they actually slide all the way to the back here. So, I mean, the battery hits there. It'll just hurt itself and not other stuff. Yep. So. Oh, this is a new um, head button that came with the parts I bought from my T-Rex Pro. Oh, yeah. Oh, and uh, I'm buying a th uh, Castle 35 amp speed controller for that T-Rex Pro. Hopefully to die. And this is the baddest V2 ever. Torque tube tail. I've never seen anybody with build anything that ever has ever came close to this clone. And it was a lot cheaper than actually buying a um, T-Rex 450. The most expensive thing on this whole helicopter. Well, even the Spartan Gyro I got for 100 bucks, brand new. Uh, a receiver, 60 bucks. A scorpion motor was 50 bucks. These batteries were like, uh, I'm not paying for these. 50, 60 bucks, 50 bucks. Got a couple of them, but need some cleaning. One day I have to upgrade my servos. Always wanted some metal gears on here. This helicopter's only had one major crash. Two years ago, a couple of ma minor crashes because the um, I had a CNC pitch slider there, which I gotta order another one. But um, I uh, see I have to uh, take them apart and lock tight them in there. But that's an aligned plastic pitch slider in there. Um. That's a 4400 KB Scorpion 6 motor, and again, that's the 55 amp Scorpion ESC under the bottom, very thin there. And that's like the T-Rex 500 tail servo, and that is an actual line carbon push rod. The one of my 500 I made. These boom supports are custom. They're extra thick. Big suckers. They were like a buck. The skids are ultimate. And uh, I'm finna get some some of those MS composite blades for this here. Or, um. Well, anyway, just some nice, expensive blades. Uh, I'll put these blades on my Pro. I have to fun without the white boy body. <sighs> yes. You know, you look in the videos and you see this one flying around for a couple of years. Um, not doing any 3D or nothing. Just having a nice, enjoyable time. You know, I spent a lot of time on my simulator since my injuries. And, uh, 
when I get the chance, I'll go out and have fun with my babies. Yeah, this clone has some aligned parts like the swash. We have true blood dampers in there, 3D dampers. Life gets no better. Oh, I seen that dude was trying to copy my blue washers too. <laughs> oh yeah, we got the blue canopy miles. I think I did a pretty good job with this one. Genuine align, uh, main gear, and these XDA skids are incredible. I love them to death because they just springy spring back. But again, this is about safety, and and don't mount your battery under there. I had tried that once. And somebody warned me about it, and I can't believe that somebody else would put that online and just, yeah.